Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what are the math, time span, data nodes. Okay, so the data nodes are the nodes that I consider the ones that work with the data in a time span, either getting data into it or data out of it in certain formats. Our first one is going to be our time span from string. So this allows to convert a string, in this case 0, colon, 5, colon, 0, colon, 0, days, hours, minutes, seconds, and output it into a time span that we could then use. So if we take this, we output it to our as time span node, print that to our screen, and hit play, we get 5 hours, 0 minutes, 0 seconds. Keep in mind the output of the time span node that we have here from our string doesn't necessarily display property in our as time span. So I'm going to debug a few of these as needed because the as time span converts to a positive hour, minute, second. So our next node is our time span ratio. This one's pretty simple. It takes two time spans and divides them A over B. So in this case, let's say we had five hours over 10 hours. Let me get rid of this right here. We're going to take five divided by 10 and our output should be hopefully what you expect of 0.5. Do this hit play and our output is 0 0.5 because our ratio of 5 hours to 10 hours is 0.5 or half zero value is simple it simply outputs a zero time span value zero 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 you can't use min value for this because time spans do allow negative and a min value would be negative now we have a couple of the operators here we have from days this allows us to create a time span from x from the amount of days, hours, minutes, seconds, or milliseconds. So let's do it really simple. Here's from minutes. We'll plug this into our output here. We'll plug this in here. Our from minutes, 120 for our input value. Our output should be what you expect, two hours. 120 minutes is two hours. And this is nice because the way time spans work, as you add or subtract, or if you create, it's going to automatically bring things and elevate them up. So we could do something like, I don't know, here's a big number. And we'll debug this because our time span node won't give us days. We'll hit play. We'll look at our output. And our output from our node is going to be, well, it looks like 518,377 days, 16 hours, 32 minutes is what our result is with this value. And so the nice thing is I can use the next set of nodes for getting individual results from a time span. So in this case, our from minutes gave us that large number. But I want to know, well, how many days were in there? Well, we'll do that. We'll drag this up to here. We'll put this on our output. And we will stop this. And we'll hit play. And you'll notice we have 518,377. This time span holds that many days. Or hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. But keep in mind, that's only the value that's inside of there. So if we were to pause this and hit play again, we'll look back in here. And we'll look at our output. You'll notice we have no seconds. We have some minutes, we have some hours, and we have some days. And we're not going to get the total values here. We're just going to get the current value inside the time span. So if I was to get hours, 16. Get minutes, 32. Get seconds or milliseconds, 0. Because that's the current value in the time span. But let's say I wanted to know an actual total number. So let's say I wanted to use the get total nodes. How many actual hours are there? in this value. We'll get the total hours. And we'll go ahead and output that out. So we'll have to drag this up here, bloop, put it in there, put it in here. We'll go ahead and run this. And our output's going to be 12,441,065. And that is the total number of hours in the time span we created right here. And the nice thing is we know how many minutes we put in here. I don't know, really big 746 number. I can just do something like this. Bloop to make sure our math is working properly. We'll hit play. You notice, there we go, 746 million minutes. And that is the input that we put in. Even though our time span, keep in mind, pause this again, our time span consists of this value here. Days, hours, minutes, seconds, 32 total minutes. In, uh, 32 minutes in our time span. Our total minute value is actually our 746 million value. And those are going to be the data nodes for time span. It's useful for making a time span out of a certain value, getting out 
individual values from our time span, maybe for formatting purposes, or getting total values. You want to know, hey, eight hours have elapsed. How many minutes is that? Or how many seconds have elapsed? And go from there.